So we have returned to the war front. We've returned to the front lines of Battlefield 1 after a bit of a hiatus because I traded this game in about so say about five, six months ago. Because if you remember correctly to my last Battlefield videos, there was no complaints there. You know, I never said I don't like the game. I don't think I complained anyway. That would be a bit of a change for me, but I didn't complain. I just said I like the game, it's fun. But it feels like I've hit a, hit a bit of a plateau with it. You know, it's got a bit static. I don't feel like there's anywhere else I can go. And I know that with every single class, they kind of hit this thing where it was level 10 and you couldn't progress any further. Obviously, now that's changed since I've repurchased the game and you can now progress further. I think my sniper class is on about level 12, maybe. And I think that's about the highest one. Everything else is above 10, apart from the support class. The support class, I've had struggles to try to stay pushing it further. It doesn't matter how many ammo crates I throw about or ammo boxes. It doesn't matter how many times I blow people up with the crossbow. It doesn't matter. I just seem to stay stuck um, in the region of level seven to eight. I think I'm a level eight now. And the other reason for that is because of the guns. You know, the thing with Battlefield 1 is there are a variation of guns. Probably the, one of the biggest variations in weaponry between each class where you can only be assigned a certain kind of gun and on most of those classes, people find their gun and they say, this is it for me. You know, the medics like their single burst, rapid fire, bloody um, sweeper guns or whatever they are. Um, you know, the sort of marksman rifles, the snipers. Nope, I'm happy with the bolt action. Martini Henry. The assault class, they're quite happy with their submachine guns and their bloody trench bore shotguns. God, I hate those things. But that's a whole different story. So the progression levels have improved. And at the moment, they are doing this thing where if you want to experience what the premium maps are like, you can have a little bit of a taster, which I've only played one, but I was quite annoyed that the XP was locked, so I didn't really bother too much with that. I just played one map, didn't understand what I was doing, actually did quite well. Um, I think it was more of a bit of a fluke, really. But as far as progression goes, I'm all about the progression. I'm all about the XP. I don't want to be stuck in the same place and then be told, well, if you want to play this, you have to get premium. That's the rule, whether you like it or not. So I've gone back to the regular maps and played that way because I want to move on. But as far as developing goes, this game is still stuck to exactly where it was, which in my opinion, my honest opinion, you can disagree with me if you like, but I think that it's stuck in a place that is actually worse than Battlefield 4, and that is with regards to frame rate drop. I don't see anything anywhere about the issues with frame rate drop. I have Googled it, I've looked on social media, and everywhere I look and I type in Battlefield 1 frame rate drop issue, what can I do, fixes and things like that. Most people are posting things about the PC. And like I say, this is going back a little bit. People saying PC frame rate drop, oh, it's a nightmare. And uh, somebody will come on and go, hey, it's quite easy. What you do is go into your settings, go into this, get this codex type slash thing that you put in and oh, it'll be fixed, everything's brilliant. And I didn't really think there would be a problem on the PC with that because I've, I've actually got Battlefield 4 on PC and it runs as smooth as breast. It's fantastic. There's no problems whatsoever. There's bangs, explosions, there's people throwing crates down, there's people dying, being revived all around you. There's tanks, there's planes. There's so much going on on the screen that it seems to be able to handle it very, very well. Whereas the PlayStation 4, for all of its sins, cannot seem to handle too much going on you know too too much too much happening in one place and i think that's why a lot of the time i like to even though i like to get into the action i stay back a little bit from too much action because when it runs it just it clumps it crashes it staggers it stutters and it doesn't get to where i want to go and it almost costs me um cost me a life if you like you know something will happen some guy will appear and i'm trying to shoot him because everything's slow motion i'll get picked off and killed and i you know, like I say, I see these people and they're like, oh, I'll tell you what the fix is. It's, it's down to your internet. I don't get any problems. I don't see any frame rate drops. And I just think, no, it can't be. It can't be. I've got 100 meg. Look at my ping. Look at my ping here. I'm not APOC. My ping is always generally... No, not generally. My ping is always lower than everybody else's. I'm playing on a BenQ 24-inch gaming monitor. One millisecond on that monitor. I have 100, you know, 100 MS download. I have 10 upload. Everything's fine. Everything's fine with my setup. Everything's beautiful. I'm really happy with how my setup is. It's just this game. And 
I find that quite sad because, you know, the developers, they just seem to stop developing in my opinion. You know, they make a game, they obviously have developed that game, but then they start developing extras, add-ons, purchase this. It's the same old story and they don't seem to address the obvious stuff like it's dropping frames. Is there anything we can do to help that along? You know, when it, when I didn't get a, um, I didn't get a next gen console for quite a bit. I stayed on Xbox 360 for ages and ages because I just simply couldn't afford to buy one at the time. And people are like, you've got to get on PS4 or Xbox One. You're living in the dark ages. Everything runs brilliantly. <laughs> and it's almost like that's kind of past now. And it's like, well, if you want a good game now, you've got to go and get the PS4 Pro and get some, uh, you know, get a better piece of kit. And it's like, I don't want to spend that extra £200 just so I can play a current game. And then when the next one comes out, it's going to run like garbage. And I have to wait for the PS4 Pro 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 machine. You know, I just, I'll get frustrated with that. So they haven't concentrated much on making it more of a smoother experience. Still things are massive issues like the spawns. You know, that, I can't think what it's called now. The bloody desert map. I mean, for goodness sake, what is the idea when you've got roofs and roofs absolutely peppered with snipers, why do they keep spawning you right on the outskirts of the map with no cover where you literally have to run to certain death? You are running towards your death. It doesn't matter what angle you take. These guys, these marksmen are absolutely, they've got it down, you know. Battlefield snipers have got it. They understand how to pick people off with headshots. They understand these sweet spots where to hit you to put you on your ass. And that is essentially what it does. It keeps spawning you outside the map constantly. Keep running. Come on, you, you can do it. Keep charging. And when you're looking from the aerial view, all you can see completely around the map is these blank open spaces where you could spawn, but no, it just keeps putting you in the one place. And on so many more times than none, I've spawned in front of people or I've seen three or four people spawn in front of me on the opposite team. And it's brilliant. It's like, wow, free kills. Fantastic. You, uh, you didn't really think that one through, did you? But... Oh, bugger. You know, just, I wish they could get on it. I really do, because it is a fantastic game, and I know that the interest has totally fizzled out with this game with a lot of people. Um, it's not as popular. It's, I noticed on Twitch the other day that Battlefield 4 was actually more popular than this. It shouldn't be the way. It's a fantastic game. It really is. Operations is amazing on this. Still so much fun, but... I think with regards to the hit detection, with the map spawning, with the frame rate drop, those little issues of mine are still stopping me from continuously playing and ejecting the disc sometimes and thinking, should I take it back and get myself another meal? So that's just a little bit of a, a little bit of a rant off my chest, I suppose. Just let me know if anybody is still playing Battlefield 1, do you notice any frame rate drops? That's my biggest issue. The spawns and everything else I can kind of deal with. It's the dropping in frames when the action hots up or when you're running. And I've done all the things like, you know, turn down the motion blur and all that. Done it all. Done it all. It still runs like poo. Thanks for watching, guys. Much love. Apocalypse done.